Green. Cycle complete. Hey, Clan Hut. Sorry for the quick thaw, Master Chief. Things are a little hectic right now. The disorientation should pass quickly. Welcome, Welcome back, back, sir. sir. We'll, we'll have, have you battle, battle ready, ready stat. Chief, please look around the room. I need to get a calibration reading for your battle suit's diagnostic. Good. Thank you, sir. I'm bringing We're your health, health monitors, monitors online, online sir. sir. Vital signs look normal. No freezer burn. Okay, sir. Go ahead and climb out of the cryo tube. I gave you a double dose of the wake-up stiff. Take a quick walk around the cryo bay and join me at the optical diagnostic station when you're ready. I know the ordnance techs usually take care of your targeting sensors, but we put it just look at each of the flashing panels to target them. When you lock on, it'll change color. Okay, that looks good. I'm ready for the energy... ...shield test now. Please follow me to the energy shield test station. Fire team, report to defensive positions Alpha through Sierra. Sensors show inbound Covenant boarding craft. Stand by to repel boarders. Okay, bring his energy shields online, please. All right. Shield read is fully charged. Okay, sir. Bring them down to test the automatic recharge. Take socks off. I don't see a reason to take my socks off. Recharging normally. Showing green across the board. Bridge to cryo two. This is Captain Key. Send the master. I don't even have a feed cam. A food cam. I don't know. Maybe I should, maybe I should, uh, do that. Oh God, they're trying to get through the door! Security! Intruders in the house, too! Stay out! Come on, we've got to get the hell out of here! I'm a cowardly fool! Secure those glass doors! Move! Move! Sam is the best, best and worst part about the easy runs. Because uh, the good part is that he dies. <laughs> and then the bad part is that sometimes when he dies, he screams. Those marines could use some help, chief. Do what you do best. I have to say, easy POA is pretty damn boring. Or like, it's just not exciting. At all. The start of this run on the easy is just isn't very hype. N no, well it's not on legendary either, to be honest. Like, like I really like how TNR on easy isn't completely free just because it's on easy difficulty. Like TNR on, on easy is still like the highest, still has easily the highest skill gap out of any level. Covenant on the landing above us. Nice block. I don't know how I let that happen, dude. All hands. This is 
the captain. Prepare to abandon ship. Combat team, repel boarders until ops personnel are away. Good luck. Peace out. The life pods are launching. We should hurry. Warning. Blast doors closing. We have to use the ship's maintenance. The Covenant are destroying the life pods. They really don't want us on their way. Detecting Covenant movement outside the access ways. Activating motion tracker. Let's find a safe exit. Wait. We need to get through that door, but it's been damaged by an explosion. It looks like the Covenant wanted to catch you next. Thanks. I think it's handy to have on C. I don't know exactly why, but my thumb rests on C basically all the time. Or I mean, if not on space bar, then on C. Nice block, dude. Should have been that should have been faster than it was by a few seconds at least. Right? Can you move? Really annoying. The others, the impact. There's nothing we can do. Warning, I've detected multiple Covenant dropships on approach. I recommend moving into those hills. If we're lucky, the Covenant will believe that everyone aboard this lifeboat died in a crash. Yo, light speed, yo, thanks, dude. <laughs> it, it's been like three months since I did my runs, but thanks, dude. St I still get, like, from time to time, I get people in my chat who say, like, yo, nice GD key runs, even though it has been forever. Reading a lifeboat beacon over the next. I don't know. Should check to see if there are any survivors. Um. Which run was like voted or I don't know, like not voted but like which which one did people think that was like better out of the two runs? Maybe maybe people liked Halo more. Uh, well, uh, I commentated way more for Halo, because for Oblivion I just kind of stayed way, way si more, more silent because I had to focus. So you have to, on that game, you have to focus on that game like so much more. Yeah, I think Halo, Halo was more of a serious... I took Halo more seriously. Um, I really wanted Halo to be as good as I can possibly make it. And then Oblivion was like a goofy. Because I knew, I knew I was gonna have bubbles and, you know, all those guys on couch. So it was like... I think Oblivion was like a funny run. Not so serious run. I think that should work, right? Yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah, okay. Halo was longer, yeah. 
I heard I heard somebody say that Halo was in like the top ten runs of the event. So I guess that's pretty cool. Like in a video of top ten runs of the event. Or something like that. Yo, screeny hello, dude. Coming in fast. If those lifeboats make it down, sorry about those notifications. Bowhammer, we need you to disengage your warthog. The master chief and I are going to see if we can save some soldiers. Roger, Cortana. Okay, Charlie team, warthog deployed. Saddle up and give them hell. Man, it's such a good feeling when you can. When you. When you can mash those pop-up windows away as smoothly as possible, like I just did right there. Like you just get the perfect prediction on them. So this is kind of flash on the screen. And it doesn't make you lose any time. Master Chief, I'm going to use your suit's transcom system to monitor their chatter. Guess I like playing on easy. Basically, I guess. Am I dropping frames? Uh, a lot more crew I think the than I, had predicted. I saw some frame drops, which is annoying. I hope that doesn't happen often. Other we have a Dude, fucking Bubbles existence. comes into my chat and first thing he says is nice curtains. God damn it, dude. Because <laughs> everybody keeps saying that and there's nothing speci special about my curtains. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Yo, hello dude, by the way. <laughs> Lifeboat detected. No sign of survivors. Maybe they took cover in that structure. Let's check it out. Oh, what a fling. Holy shit. We should search the interior That's what I'm talking about, boys. Please die. Please die. Nice. Nice warthog positioning, too. We should search the interior of those structures before we leave. Bubbles, when is when is uh, come back to oblivion? Because so I'm just waiting for people to start playing again, and then I can do oblivion runs again. Because it feels lonely when it uses like there just aren't like any other people doing them. I mean, I guess that's the thing with Halo, I guess. Kinda. So I got shitty marines, to be honest. I got... Ah, uh, this, this is, well... And they're... They're fucking kidding me, right? This is the worst clear I've ever seen. I have to, like... <laughs> okay, well... It's okay. 
Honestly, that was so slow that I don't I don't even know. Oh yeah, you oh yeah, you did you did your marathon thingy. So you played it during that. What are you doing? We have to stay with the Marines. We need to find the other two lifeboats. There are some Marines hiding in the hills above the structure. I'll call in a dropship to pick them up. Morning. I've picked up reports that the Covenant has located and secured the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. The good news is the captain is still alive. The bad news is that the Covenant have captured the entire surviving command crew. Let's hurry and find the final lifeboat so we can link up with the rest of the survivors. This is solid pace, right? I'm on my way. New traffic sub 16. I found Captain Keith. A sub 16 with like an extremely bad second clear. And reconciliation. A ship I disabled before we abandoned the autumn. Yeah, this is pretty good. The truth and reconciliation touched down on a desert plateau roughly 300 kilometers up spin. I look like a waiter. Uh there's our ride. Get I guess, I don't know. Welcome aboard, man. The enemy has captured Captain Keys and are holding How do you get the ban shield? Uh... The truth and reconciliation. Okay. Um position approximately 300 meters above the other end of this plateau. So how do we get inside the ship if it's in the So are you saying that you can get the right wing through the gap of like there's a gap in the door? Are you saying that you can get the gap through? <laughs> Are you saying that you can get the wing, like the tip of the wing, through the gap? Because if you can do that, that's the hardest part over. Like the rest is really easy. Yeah. Okay. So I should just make a tutorial on that entire level. But I'm, I've been lazy. Okay, so you get the tip through the door, and then you just have to like. It, it I can't ex explain it. You kind of have to see what I do with my mouse. I mean. If you haven't, like, you should look at some gameplay of me doing it or somebody else doing it. Hunters, please. Oh, nice. This is a good TNR. We've secured the area. Let's square away the grab lift. Marines, prepare for boarding action. Oh, yeah, CG has a tutorial on it, but I don't know how you could. how to find it, because I don't think it's on YouTube. Pretty sure it's just on his Twitch. Somewhere. Come on, what is this wave? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I 
I can't believe how that keeps happening to me. Absolutely cannot believe it. It's insanity. It's absolute insanity. That just keeps happening to me all the time. It's a good thing that I noticed that because the run would have died if I hadn't. Absolute insanity. That was a bad belly. That was a bad belly mostly because of that elite getting stuck, I feel like. But maybe it was, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't like too bad for belly. Yo, that's a good elite if he chases me. Come on, dude. Thanks. No, he didn't get stuck in the door, he got stuck inside the wall. I think he's a spawns inside the wall. And you can like see his shoulder through the wall and you have to hit him his shoulder or arm or something. He stopped blocking me, what the hell? Oh, that was close. I took that a little fast. A little like too fast. Hey, Nate Shots, what's up, dude? Uh, I suck right now. Oh, okay. I mean, that wasn't too bad. That was actually not bad. Uh, what? That is stupid. Wait, since when did- What? I'm confused. Because I was like so sure grunts don't even throw grenades on easy. That's weird. I was like so sure they don't even throw grenades on easy. Uh, other than like spec up grunts maybe. Like... Oh yeah, but... Uh, I would say SC is my favorite Halo level of all time, probably. Kill the Marines. We should head back to the have to remember to do this because you don't do it on Legendary. Okay, dude. Is this any good pace? It's not like a sub twenty three. But uh, it's probably fine. Elites? Wow, that was bad. Uh, I don't know how I... Like, when I played easy as my... Well, other main category, like some... A few months ago, I just kept getting sub 23s out of TNR and now I just can't. Well, that TNR sucked apparently. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. My TNRs have been sucking late. I don't know why. My easy TNRs are kinda slow every time, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Must be belly fight. Because it definitely wasn't the lift. It, it must be belly fight or the ending or something.
Oh yeah, I lost 20 seconds on that level compared to my best TNR, so it's like... It's, it's mostly from the belly fight, it has to be. It looks like there is a path into the interior of the island. I mean, obviously this space is fine for now. Completely fine for now, I would say. But the quest, quest chin is, can I... I don't have time save on this level, really. There. At it's all, really. Like, a little, maybe. The Covenant are putting up a real fight. The cartographer must be here. Don't let them lock the doors. Is well. XT. <laughs> oh shit. I might even save time. Nice block, dude. They've locked the doors, and we don't have enough firepower to get through them. Cortana to keys. Go ahead, Cortana. Have you found the control center? Negative, Captain. The Covenant have impeded our progress. We can't proceed unless we can disable this installation security system. Cortana to Echo 419. The Chief and I are topside, requesting pickup. Understood. We're still en route to the objective. I may be out of contact when we get there. Here are your orders. I want you to use any means necessary to force your way in. Oh, hello, the old maze dead. We have to get to the center before the covenant. Failure deals. Echo 419 to ground team. I'll stay on station and keep an eye out for covenant. I don't see a point in doing checkpoint let's stick stack. Just don't see the point. Oh, I saved way more time than I. Oh right. Okay. It's my my go. Oh, it's, that's oh. I completely forgot that. My gold for SC on easy is actually way slower than for legendary because on easy I've never done full YOLO stick stack where I just where I just do a fast setup and don't wait for the checkpoint. Because my gold split actually does you know wait for the checkpoint, which is a little lame. <laughs> The weather patterns here seem natural, not artificial. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are malfunctioning. Or if the designers wanted the installation to have inclement weather. This is Fireteam Zulu requesting immediate assistance from any UNSC forces. Does anyone copy? Over. I'm doing easy I'm runs right now. Left on this part of the ring. Cortana to Fire Team Zulu. I change. I change Fire difficulties from Cortana time to time. Okay, this... I hope I can get this. I don't feel very confident about this trick right here. But... Oh. Oh shit, dude. Let's, that's actually really good.
EU driving in effect already? Jesus Christ. This is still really good. Even with the driving being like... <laughs> so why does my stream drop frames? God, I hope that's not fr frequent. Really hope it doesn't do that frequently. I honestly have no idea where the biggest time save is. I... I don't remember at all. You would think that library... Um, it, it's probably library. My driving is bad right now, god. Then I, well, then again, I... I don't do ghost driving all that often, so it's like, whatever, dude. You know what? If you... One thing I'm gonna try... But I'm gonna... I'm gonna forget. Cause you could... You could probably do the nade jump here. With the plasma instead of like jumping up to the platform if you had like four bars yellow you could probably survive that maybe you can do the first nade jump do not stick the banshee by the way so you can do the first nade jump with a plasma so that you survive it like four bars Maybe, maybe even you can survive it with five, but that's like really precise, like too precise to go for. Probably, I don't know. But that would be basically free IL recce if you did both nade jumps on easy. I'm pretty sure that would be like a free IL recce because that's like extra, extra like two seconds at least, probably. Oh yeah, it's it's the other way around. Uh, old mice dead. It's actually the other way around. Like here, you would normally do a nade jump up that hill. But I need my health for something else, so I can't do that. When I say usually, I mean on Legendary, because that's what I usually play. Bad life, man. With five months in a row. Crazy guy. Long supporter. A true goblin. Yo, bad life. Thanks for staying up for five months. To the goblin gang. Really appreciate it. Please do not overcharge me right now. That was close. That guy actually tried to do that. Really don't like when they do that. Can you please die, all of you?
No, no. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. That was good. Okay, that was good. Uh, at first I was... I, I kept going too late, but then I realized that Undices went this much earlier and it worked. The reason I was worried at first is because I ran out of AR ammo. I ran out of AR ammo. So I could have gotten the checkpoint in a very shitty spot where, yeah, reverting would have been super bad. Camo Jumo, by the way, if anybody cares. <laughs> so I feel like nobody cares for Camo Jumo anymore. Oh, there we go. Oh shit. Get that Camo Jumo in the chat. I don't have frags left, hmm. I mean, that probably shouldn't matter, right? I can just throw a plasma. I almost ran into it. Uh, well, I'm saving time. I'm pretty sure I'm saving time. There's a flood behind me, but I don't think he can kill me. I mean, dying on easy, good joke, right? Good one, dude. Valentin. Sub 38? I don't even know how good that is, honestly. I really don't know. <laughs> Just give me a human. There's a human guy. Come here. Pranked? BS Brown, what's up? Hey, Robocat.
Wait a sec. I just realized that. What? What if we did? What if we did that on legendary too, Nate Shots? I mean, not you because you don't run the game, but like, you know what I mean. What if you purposefully went down to one red? Because that would be fast, yeah, that would end the level faster. I've never thought of that. Then again, it would, it would be extremely sketchy to get down to one bar on legendary because on easy you know you just do one nade jump but it puts you at one bar but on legendary it's like you basically have to let enemies hurt you but not kill you kind of type of thing which would be probably not very nice God fucking damn it. This guy's my only hope. Nope. No boom away. This guy won't even save time. But I can go for him. That guy saved like a two like two seconds. <laughs> That's not a, a that definitely doesn't count as a bump that saves time. Really doesn't. Because this door didn't even open early. Because if you get the bump, for some reason this door opens early. And it didn't even open early, so... It's not a fast bump if it doesn't open early. I don't even know why the door opens early. Like... I, I actually have no idea. I'm pretty sure Nightbot can do pretty advanced calculations, but you just have to give it in the right form. If you just type, if you type like 4x6, because x is not the right, you know, symbol or, you know, thing for multiplying, you have to use the actual. I don't know what I don't know what you call it, the, you know the symbol thing. Oh yeah, it's Asterix.
Surround's dead. I'm pretty sure this run's dead, but I... I can't say for sure, obviously, but, like... That didn't really save any time either. That saved... That saved time, I think, but... This is basically zero bumps. Like, even though I've actually gotten two bumps, it's the time save is the same as... I would have with zero bumps, basically. I re I'm pretty. I need to get the next two doors. I'm pretty sure. Like this door is an absolute necessity. Like absolutely have to get this. Like the fast version, not the slow one. Oh hey, maybe? Oh, hello. oh okay, that bump was actually good. So, well, that's good. Are these... wait, I wanna see PB splits. I guess I have no idea what my PB splits actually look like. Oh, keys is a free time save, right? Oh, sh yeah. Good thing I remember. Keys, like assuming my PB doesn't have the flood bump, like, which it definitely doesn't. Um, so yeah, keys should be free time save. At least 20 seconds. This level is probably not time. No. I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure I'm losing time here. Don't shoot me, please. I'm saving time, am I? That's interesting. You know what's funny? Because that was a four bump library. <laughs> I got four bumps. The first one saved two seconds. The second one saved... Maybe... Maybe like five to ten. Like ten at best, probably not ten. Very unlikely that it saved 10. You may now uh, the index. Well, the third one saved full possible time save, and the last one also saved all it could save. I don't recall doing Blood Bump on keys on easy. I really don't recall doing that, but. It, it. But, you know, I don't remember shit, so... I, I don't know what I'm talking about. 
Look out. But if it does, then we have a problem, kinda. But, well, not really. I don't know. Oh ho! <laughs> right, dude. This was the level. Dude, this was the fucking level. That was absolute horrors. Like... Well, absolute shit, dude. In my PB. This was the time save, right? Yeah, okay. So, okay. We can't let the monitor activate Look at Halo. the time save I can. Him. We have to destroy dude. Halo. According to my analysis of the available data... Yeah, that's... Okay, okay yeah. So, this level was really shitty, but then I got keys flood bump. That's how it must have been, systems. yeah. We need to trigger a detonation on a large scale, however. A starship's fusion reactors... I hope that's good. Would do the job. Uh... I'm going to search what's left of the Covenant Battlement and see if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, we can use them to destroy Halo. The nav point marks Good thing I didn't point. lose health there. I haven't located the crash site yet, but we need to buy some time in case the monitor or his sentinels find a way to activate Halo's final weapon without the index. The machinery in these canyons are Halo's primary firing mechanisms. They consist of three phase pulse generators that amplify Halo's signal and allow That's it to fire generator. deep into space. The power levels are enormous. I can't Objective even begin to calculate the, the pulse generator range. has overloaded. Don't make me lose health, please. The generator's central core is offline. Well done. So, if we damage or destroy nice banshee. The, the monitor will need to repair them before the Halo can be used. Is that located should buy us some time. Planet. Move out and I'll mark the target with a nav point when we get closer. I'm marking the location that door with pulse That's the way the nav point. <sighs> Stop the blocking. The Holy shit. Wait. We should commandeer one of those banshees. We'll need it to reach the pulse generator in time. Good jump. Now, the next room is gonna kill me. If not the next room, then the bridge after the next room. And if it's, if not that, then the then the pulse generator. But if I get through all of those smoothly, then we might be in there. Then there's like a chance of actually being in in the air inside the air. Okay, this guy didn't kill me, nice. <laughs> okay, this goddamn bridge now. Basically... Are we gonna get splattered or are we not gonna get splattered? That is the quest chin. Oh, okay, looks like he flew away. Okay.
What's this elevator time? I'm curious, curi curious, curious, something like that. But at the same time, I don't really know what a good time is. Didn't get the clip, I suck, I guess. Oh, I mean for the IL timer. It was like a low five. Five bars, I'm really good at this game, I guess. Wow. No need for health pack whatsoever. Okay, let's take care of the next pulse generator. I have, like, I don't... Like, the IL record must have, like, a sub... Not probably not a sub five, but like no, I don't I don't know what a good what I don't know what a good time is. Wait, do I have the IL record for this, or did somebody beat it? No, I I have the IL record for this, right? I honestly don't know. I think I, I, yeah. For easy. And I got it in full game. Yeah. I only have two rockets. Wait, is this a problem? Wait. No, it's not a problem because I'm just gonna use a frag here. And then that did it. The pulse generator do something like this. And hopefully not die. Okay. I honestly completely forgot what the exit strat for easy is. Like out of that place. And I just kinda I honestly didn't know what I was doing. But I guess I kind of remember it as I was doing it. Show her fusion reactors are still powered up. That tunnel leads to the next section of canyon. The final pulse generator we need to destroy is through there. Okay, it's the person who was asking about this trick earlier, you can look at how I do this now. So you look to the right like this, you keep W, then you look to the left, keep down S, and then W again on the right side. Okay, that went really fast, and it's really difficult to like keep up what... Uh, yeah, basically what I just did there. Oh yeah, for easy I wanna do this, right? Yeah, this was the thing on easy now. <laughs> Please! Oh my god, okay. One thing is for sure, I'm saving time, should be saving more than 30 seconds, don't know exactly how much, but uh, definitely I'm saving time, unless I somehow miss the trigger, which should be impossible. Now the end, the start to keys. How do I do this again? Okay, I think I know how to do it. I just need time to think about it. That should work. Captain? Captain? I've lost him. <sighs> I 
Okay. Man, I wasn't sure if I should have crouched for that or not crouch. Good thing I didn't crouch. Guess that worked nicely. By the way, I'm gonna lose time here because apparently I'm running against a gold. So I'm gonna lose like five seconds here, possibly. Life signs detected. The captain, he's one of them. We can't let the flood get off this ring. You know what he'd expect. No, my only concern what really is that. Do? do I remember how to do the last level? Do I really remember how to do the last level? I think I do, but. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I actually don't. Please stop chasing me. Um perfect. Grab one of the escort banshees and we'll use it to return. Yeah, okay, I just have to play and see what happens. Uh I think I know what I'm doing, but there's a chance I don't know what I'm doing. So if this is not a 110, it might be because I haven't played easy in a long time, or well specifically the last level on easy. <laughs> in a pretty long time. To initiate an overload of the ship's fusion engines. The explosion should damage enough systems below it to destroy the ring. I should probably be fine though. Okay, well. That's extremely fucking stupid to start off the level with. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, I'm not comfortable with that bump, dude. That's the Svo bump. That's the that's how hardcore Svo is. Cuz he goes for the bump that I'm not I don't even know how to do. Like, well, I just pulled it off, but that's like a slightly different bump compared to the one I usually do. Do not make me lose my OS, please. Man, that's scary. Okay, you do the nade jump and then you do the, do the rocket jump. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. Engine room located. We're here. Alert! The monitor has disabled all command access. We can't restart the countdown. You throw plasmas? You shoot a rocket here and throw plasmas. 
that to do enough damage to destroy Halo. Don't worry, I have access to all of the reactors. Uh, please work. I got it through. Okay, nice. Expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive core. Good. Step one complete. We have a straight shot into the oh, fusion reactor. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. We need a catalyst explosion to destabilize the magnetic containment field surrounding the fusion cell. Use an explosive. Oh my god. Grenade or rocket. If you run out of explosives, there is an armory station. I improvised and it worked out even. It cost me a few seconds there. Sheesh, dude. I kinda just had to improvise there. Because I couldn't get on top of the thing somehow. Which is weird. Okay. Well. Cortana to Echo 419. Come in, Echo 419. Apparently I'm running against a gold moor. So I'm gonna lose time here, that's for sure. But this should be easily a one one ten. Well, there's a chance I'm gonna get chain reacted and blown away and runs dead, but you know, I don't feel like I've played pretty well to get to this point. I haven't really, I haven't choked anything whatsoever. I don't think. I can still choke things. Don't worry about it. I can still definitely choke some things away, like 360 or barrels. Yeah, I'm definitely losing like 10 seconds here, I think. Oh, sentinels, right? I kind of forgot this was a thing. Don't flip me nice, okay. Uh, fucking driving, I have to go... <laughs> fucking, that, all, all of that happened because of Sentinels. Like, all of that happened because of Sentinels, I really don't like. Because they push you, like, so slightly. Like, they make your Warthog, like... Off, like, the racing line. And then... But you just wanna keep holding W. And then that happens. Like, I couldn't hit the ramp from the right angle. It's like so annoying. Don't say that's EU driving when you have no idea what you're talking about. Even though I usually do have EU driving, especially on AOTCR. On AOTCR it's like EU driving every time. Wait, stop! This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. Hold position here. Echo 419! She's gone. Calculating alternate escape route. She's 360 damn, dude. Fighter, is still docked in launch bay 7. If we move we'll now, see how we that move. goes. And barrels. And barrels as well. This might not be a 111 if I get absolute shit on by barrels and shit, so. That looks pretty good. That's pretty good. Dude, is this 2015? But with all the 360 spam. That's the ship. Move. We need to 
get aboard now. It doesn't really go better than that, I don't think. Uh, I'll take that. That's pretty good. We're cutting it close. More was bad, but I didn't want to risk it. More was like kinda, kinda Here safe. Uh, with a few well things, but you know whatever. That's that's nice. Uh, okay, well, uh, that's, uh... I just, like, did a few runs on Legendary, and I was like, okay, I'm not enjoying this because I just reset a bunch of times, and I think this was the first run on Easy I did. Yeah, it must have been. This was the first run on Easy that I did today. And it's just, just, it just went pretty well overall. Fancy a look? <laughs> Hello, YouTube. Hi. You, you didn't catch the run live. But I still appreciate you for watching the uh, VOD from YouTube. Did Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to add me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, follow my Tumblr blog. It really helps me out. An entire Covenant Armada obliterated and the Flood. We had no choice. Halo, it's finished. No. I think we're just getting started. <laughs> just the Dustin Echoes. Who is Dustin Echoes? Thanks, Rambo Kill.